State wildlife officials are investigating a bear biting incident in Seminole County's Heathrow neighborhood. It happened last night while the woman was walking her dog. It's the third bite in just the past year. Well, she's Dave McDaniel, looks at the latest incident and what's being done to make the area less attractive to bears. According to State Fish and Wildlife, the woman, 68 year old Jeannie Barber, was walking her dog just south of the Heathrow Gate at the end of Hugh Thomas Parkway around 6 30 Wednesday evening. Apparently, her dog tried to run after a bear, but since he was on a leash, he pulled the woman to the ground. Once on the ground, the bear bit her in the upper arm, and her family rushed her to the hospital for treatment. We're told she should make a full recovery, and her dog was not hurt. Fish and Wildlife put up one baited trap today, and they say they have an idea of the size of the bear they're looking for, but they aren't ready to say publicly. They say residents here are doing a good job of not letting bears get into human food, but they do point out that with all of the construction and the construction workers in this area, plenty of trash ends up in dumpsters on job sites. That's a discussion wildlife experts plan to have to make sure a bunch of food isn't ending up there. Once they trap the bear, they can either move it or put it down. Coming up at 6, advice for people who are living near and around bears. How to increase your safety for you and your family. How to make sure you keep bears from getting too close and too comfortable. Reporting in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.